I'm going to provide some tips for writing up a results section. The most important guide is that you are only writing up the results and you're answering the question what happened. So you're just presenting the data in tables or in means or standard deviations but you're not providing reasons, explanations, interpretations. These explanations and interpretations are presented in the, dis in the discussion section. It's tempting sometimes to actually provide these interpretations and explanations, but resist that temptation. The discussion section is where you present that kind of information. Now, when you want to organize your results, it can be kind of difficult because you have all these analyses and, and uh, tables and such, and you want to figure out how to, how to present them in the most effective way. And I've found that the most effective way is to organize them by research question and then Within each research question, you present the type of data that addresses that research question. So let me give you an example. So here we have what are secondary school students' attitudes towards clickers. So we can say, let's put that in red. All right, so that is the research question. Now I might just put secondary school students' attitudes towards clickers. I don't necessarily have to put it in a question format. In fact, often it isn't in a question format. It's just a heading. But my headings are represent my research questions. Within those headings, I put in the type of data and the results that address this research question. In this case, I collected survey data and I had an open-ended question. In fact, I had two, so I'll make that plural. In the survey data, I might present the descriptive data of the Likert scale items, means and standard deviations. Okay. In the next uh, part of the subsection here, I might present a content analysis of the likes, here I've got likes, regarding the use of clickers. So I might include frequency counts of categories. So maybe nine out of 50 students said they thought clickers were fun. And then I would put in a rich quote or two uh, describing the fun, that fun kind of quote, just so that the reader knows what I mean. And I would go through my content analysis and the key categories and present them here. And then I would do the same, but this time I would focus on dislikes. Okay, so that's how I would have organized that part of the results section. Next question, how does clickers affect performance? Well, learning performance. Well, I collected, that would be in my next research subcategory to address that question. I collected learning performance data in the form of pre and post test scores. I could present a paired t-test table. And I also collected uh, content or uh, analysis or, or open-ended questions. And so I could put that down and uh, include frequency counts and rich quotes as well. So that's how I would organize a results section. And I strongly suggest that you follow that format. There are other formats, but this one is the most effective and easiest to read.